Much of the constructivist literature dealing with active learning, technology, and online learning recommends that you learn the system while you're in the system. This means that rather than have you read through large portions of theory or foundational material, we're going to have you start using the online tools and system as you're learning how to facilitate learning online. Similarly, instead of teaching you about the online learning, communication, collaboration, feed forward, and reflection, we're going to have you engage in authentic online learning opportunities where you will learn the methods and processes, and we coach and guide you as you go along. Don't worry, you'll not be alone, and we'll also have your fellow participants to collaborate with and to get support and guidance from. Because you will be learning by doing, what you will have learned will easily transfer over to your own courses and your own instruction. We will also be pointing you to the supporting theory and, and research in the well-stocked resources section of the course that you can then refer to when you want to go deeper and make connections between the theory and practice as you reflect on your own learning. Upon successful completion of this course, you will be able to build and sustain online communities, support diverse online learning, facilitate collaborative and individual learning, provide constructive feedback and assessment, manage the online course environment. These course outcomes will be realized through four authentic learning opportunities. First, you'll welcome diverse communities by creating a two-minute introduction, sort of a mini TED Talk, and facilitate a discussion on this video. Second, you'll develop and facilitate a synchronous collaborative lesson. Third is that you'll develop and facilitate an asynchronous collaborative session. And then finally, the fourth, you'll reflect on your learning experiences by either creating a three-minute pay it for it video, or engage in a 10-minute interview with your instructor, or create and submit a written reflection. As you will see from the authentic learning opportunities outlined in the 3320 overview resource, there will be communication, facilitation, and collaboration, and feed forward components to the first three activities. For example, before you post your introductory video, you will view at least one or two other introductory videos and engage in positive discussions in the introduction forum. Similarly, before you develop and facilitate your synchronous and asynchronous collaboration sessions, you will participate in at least two others. You will also promote your synchronous and asynchronous collaboration sessions in their respective forums and entice or encourage your classmates to take in your sessions. As you engage in these authentic learning opportunities, we will encourage you to make note and reflect on your learning experiences. You will then consolidate all your reflections that will be shared through either a three-minute pay it forward video, a 10-minute exit interview, or a written reflection. This is just an overview of the authentic learning opportunities you will engage in. We will be providing you more details in subsequent module videos, in the related module documents, and in the forums. We also encourage you to take in the weekly class meetings that will run on Monday nights where you'll have the opportunity to synchronously communicate and collaborate with your facilitator and other participants. These meetings will also be recorded for those who may not be able to attend. While we have strived to point you to all the foundational tools and resources, you will need to, at minimum, create your video and facilitate your synchronous and asynchronous collaboration sessions. You will be able to gain insights from your fellow participants in the course forums. You will also be able to share your own ideas, tips, and tricks that you've learned and that you know will benefit others. The course runs over six weeks and you have four modules to work through, so you'll need to adjust your time appropriate. Don't just look at this course from a linear perspective and only focus on one module at a time. It's in your best interest to at least take in all the overview videos in each of the modules and scan the learning opportunities so that you know what is coming. In addition, it is entirely possible to do the asynchronous collaboration session before the synchronous or even do them in conjunction. So don't limit yourself to a linear focus. Finally, you are only going to be submitting your reflection on learning for evaluation. So keep in mind that this reflection must encompass all the authentic learning opportunities that you have engaged in. So start making note of your reflections from the very start. I look forward to working with you as you explore learning online.